this video demonstrates how to terminate the three conductor air guard cable up to 25 kV with copper tape shields. Higher voltages are available. Air guard cables developed by Prismian Group are a high performance cable solution with reduced diameter and weight providing exceptional protection from fluid penetration, chemical aggression, and mechanical forces. To begin, prepare the cable using the cutback dimensions shown in the instruction manual. Remove the cable jacket using appropriate tools. Remove the dry lamb layer using the cutback dimensions shown in the instruction manual. Using the Kevlar cutting string supplied in the kit, make a score mark at the dry lamb cutback. Use the Kevlar string to cut the airbag layer without damaging the copper tape shields. Remove 4 inches of the airbag layer at the conductor ends to expose the embedded yellow ripcord. Be careful not to damage the ripcord. Pull the ripcord slowly to release the rest of the airbag layer. Pull the string cutting the airbag layer until it reaches the dry lamb layer. Remove airbag layer. Next, cut the dry lamb layer to the required distance. Using appropriate tool, make two cuts in the dry lamb layer one inch long. Make sure the aluminum layer is also cut.
carefully lift the dry lamb layer to allow the cheese grater to be positioned under the laminate. This step will ensure the dry lamb layer is grounded. Slide the cheese grater under the dry lamb layer. Place a hose clamp over the dry lamb layer and position it in the area of the tines. Tighten the hose clamp to secure it. Apply two layers of EPR tape over the hose clamp to cover any sharp edges. If a potted gland is required, use the lug on the cheese grater to make the ground connection using the appropriate ground wire. Place one layer of mastic at the cable jacket interface. Separate and fold down the ground wires where the mastic was applied. It is good practice to make sure each of the wire strands is encased in waterproof mastic. For each of the conductors, align the solder block with the previously applied waterproof mastic. Secure the ground braid temporarily with a wrap of PVC tape at the top of the ground braid. Make sure the long side of the braid is down in order to exit the bottom of the termination. Repeat for each conductor. Secure the ground wires and ground braids using the large constant force spring. Make sure at least one of the ground braids is in contact with the surface of the exposed cheese grater. Apply a second layer of mastic over the previously applied mastic, trapping the ground wires and ground braids between the two layers. Cover the constant force spring and mastic with one half-lapped layer of PVC tape. To install the trifurcating boot, slide the boot onto the crotch as far as possible. To ensure the boot sits correctly at the crotch position, it may be necessary to partially unwind some of the spirals from the three fingers until it is level with the bottom of the fingers. Make sure the trifurcating boot is seated in the crotch of the cable. Shrink the base of the boot while holding the trifurcating boot in place, taking care not to snag the braids and the elastic seal.
Next, remove boot fingers one at a time by steadily pulling the plastic cord, unwinding it around the conductor. Remove the PVC tape holding the copper braid and apply constant force springs over the copper braids near the top of the fingers of the boot body. Tape the constant four springs with PVC tape in the direction of the spring. Apply cold shrink rejacketing sleeves over each conductor overlapping the previously applied cold shrink boot. Use pull cord to shrink. Repeat for each conductor. Next, place second set of cold shrink rejacketing sleeves, making sure to apply in reverse to establish the jacket cutback. Use pull cord to shrink. Repeat for each conductor. Remove the copper tape shield per the instructions. A constant force spring can be used as a tearing guide to remove the shield at the proper distance. Score and remove the insulation shield using appropriate tool. Next, remove the cable insulation shield using appropriate tool. Remove the constant force spring and apply PVC tape to the edge of the copper tape. Install the compression lug using appropriate tool. Clean the cable by removing all traces of the insulation shield from the cable insulation. Always wipe in the direction of the insulation shield, being careful not to pull any particles onto the cable insulation. Apply silicone grease to the insulation shield cutback. To install the termination body, pull the loose end of the removable core through the top of the termination. Slide the housing of the termination body over the cable and align the bottom edge of the termination with the top of the metallic shield. Pull the cord in the direction shown as it unwinds until the housing is completely shrunk. Apply one layer of black waterproof mastic about one quarter of an inch below the rejacketing material and cover it with one layer of PVC tape at the leading edge.
apply silicone grease over the folded section of the termination housing and over PVC tape previously applied. Extend the termination boot, firmly holding and pulling down the boot to completely cover the mastic seal. Repeat steps in all conductors. This completes the termination for the three conductor air guard cable up to 25 kV with copper tape shields.